Hello, welcome to this uh, video. I just uh, decided that I wanted to do a video so that anyone who has the same CPU and motherboard as I do uh, could maybe find some useful information here if they wanted to uh, mess around with some overclocking. So my CPU is the Core i7-875K with the unlocked multiplier and the motherboard is the MSI P55 GD65. So um, I started uh, updating, upgrading the BIOS version. It actually came with the version 1.7. Upgraded it to 1.9 and it wasn't actually until I upgraded the BIOS that I was able to uh, use the unlock multiplier. So that's something you should definitely do. So I'm not saying this is a particularly advanced or perfect overclock. Uh, I messed around a little bit with the voltages and my core multiplier and I was able to get it stable at 4.17 GHz. I'm quite satisfied with that. And it still runs pretty cool. Uh, I have a Corsair H50 water cooling system, but uh, I guess you could get the same result with a good air cool. So if you want to try it out and you have the same setup, you're welcome to do so. And if not, you're also welcome to not do it. And if you have some comments on how lame this was or how much better you could do it, then uh, write the comments to this video. So first of all, I'm not going to show any standard CMOS features or anything. I'm just going into the cell menu so you can see how you could try to set it up. Didn't change much in here actually. Um, pretty much left everything as default. I did raise my base clock a little bit though from 133 to 138. Um, but the main thing here is the ability to adjust my CPU ratio and I raised that to 30 and that gives an adjusted CPU frequency of 4.14 uh, gigahertz as you can see here. And my memory is automatically set, so you should probably have some different values here for your own RAM. On the voltages, in the voltage section here, I changed this one to low V droop and I changed the CPU voltage from auto and I ended up with uh, 1.263. Um, also runs at a higher voltage of course but then it gets uh, more hot so eventually this was uh, the setting that I could get on my um, um, CPU multiplier set to 30 and still running it stable. This one I took from auto to 1.149 and everything else actually is on auto here. So, Low e droop, change these two and change my core multiplier, CPU multiplier to 30 and the base clock to 138. And of course save and exit and then I will see you in Windows. And welcome back, we are now in Windows. I have started the CPU ID program here so you can see that the CPU is running with the core multiplier times 30. The bus speed is at 138. And core speed 4.157 gigahertz. Uh, it's of course idle right now and uh, the temperatures are, I would say, not that cool, but around 34, 35 degrees on the hottest core here when it's idle. And actually my uh, fans on the water cooling radiator is turned down very low right now so when I turn them up I usually get around 30 degrees of idle temperatures. But let's put a little load on it so you can see that it can actually run at 4.1 gigahertz. 
This is the Intel burn test. I'm going to make sure that it uses all eight threads. The 875K CPU is uh, with four physical cores and hyper-threading, meaning it has eight logical cores. Okay, so we're gonna start that. Ooh, it's getting hot, fire, okay. And as we can see here, of course, the temperatures uh, go up to around 70 degrees. And I will say that after a few minutes here, they will stabilize at around uh, 73, 75 degrees. So that's, of course, somewhat harder, but still within the specifications, I guess. You can also see here the Intel Turbo Boost utility shows us that we are running at 4.17, ooh, 4.18 gigahertz. So, I hope you find this useful, and again, if you have the same equipment, feel free to try these settings if you don't want to mess around with it yourself, and if not, then it's okay as well.